Hi, it's Roberto McKee again, and today we're going to be talking about positive pressure and how it increases the protective factor of your PPE. Most of the information we're providing today can be found on the OSHA website, and if you want to check out the information yourself, there will be a link at the end of the video. There are four basic air purifiers. One is an air purifying respirator, two is a powered air purifying respirator, three is a supplied air purifying respirator, and the third is a self-contained breathing apparatus. These are a series of drawings which show examples of different respirators. The top line are basically air purifying respirators of different types. The half mask versus the full mask versus just the N95 mask. The bottom two drawings demonstrate what is called a PAPR or powered air purifying respirator. The drawing on the left is a loose fitting PAPR and the one on the right is a hooded PAPR. The top two drawings demonstrate a respirator called a supplied air respirator, which basically means that the air is being supplied through a line from a source outside of the contaminated area. The bottom drawing demonstrates a self-contained breathing apparatus, which is essentially an air supply from a tank, which does have a limited supply, but is a clean source of air. Today, I want to demonstrate the advantage of a powered air purifying respirator, or PAPR. OSHA places PAPRs in three broad categories. The first is in the bottom left corner and is a loose fitting PAPR. The second is in the center bottom and is a hooded PAPR. And the third is a full face mask respirator with a PAPR. In this video we're going to be concentrating on the full face piece PAPR because we feel that it offers the best increase in the APF. The APF is an assigned protective factor which is a term defined by OSHA. It allows one to broadly compare different types of respirators and their relative protective value. The larger the number, the more protection. And you can see that the self-contained breathing apparatus has the highest APF at 10,000, which makes sense. The air is coming from a self-contained tank. We're going to concentrate on the top part of this chart, where the half mask and full face mask respirators are, along with the powered air purifying respirator with a full face mask. Concentrating on the full face piece column, you can see that the air purifying respirator without power demonstrates an APF of 50. When you add a powered air purifying respirator to a full face piece, you end up with an APF of 1000, which is essentially 20 times greater protection. We're going to be doing our standard experiment, testing air versus a full face mask with an N99 versus a full face mask with an N99 and 18 liters per minute of forced air. So this is a video of the mask being tested with the N99, and we had an average of 0.4 particles per liter in the 0.3 micron level. This is the mask being tested with a fan that provides about 18 liters per minute of forced air through the filter. We got an incredible 0.02 particles per liter in the 0.3 micron channel. I just wanted to point out that although this fan is not done yet, we're gonna name it after Dr. Glenn Barquette a cardiologist who died earlier this year here in Miami, Florida from COVID-19. To give you the results, the air had 2,578 particles per liter. The mask plus the N99 filter was able to reduce the particle count down to 0.4 particles per liter. And the mask plus the positive pressure was able to reduce the particle count to 0.02 particles per liter. If you do some simple calculations, this limited amount of positive pressure provides a 20 times greater protection, which is exactly what is predicted by the OSHA calculations. This definitely demonstrates that positive pressure will make any of these devices more protective for healthcare providers. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe below. We could use the support. Talk to you later.